Hola clase, hoy vamos a hacer el verbo gustar y la banda se llama The Gypsy Kings y la canción Bamboleo. So The Gypsy Kings son muy populares en España and I highly suggest that you check them out. And el foto es un foto de Toledo, es una ciudad en Madrid, or en España, it's a city in Spain un poco sur de Madrid. It's one of the first cities that I traveled to in Spain that I was really in awe of. It's a medieval city. You can see the wall that's still around it and it's just absolutely magnifico. So if you ever get a ch chance, put Toledo and tu lista. So vamos a practicar vocabulario en inglés. ¿Qué es comprender? To understand. Correr. To run. Creer to believe, escribir, to write, estar, to be, estar plus guerra, to be doing something. Aburrido, bored, alegre, happy, asustado, scared, cansado, tired, contento, happy, Y emocionado, excited. So I did a, um, we're just going to practica un poquito de uh, verbos, conjugando verbos. So you have cuatro opciones a la derecha. You have four options to the right. So which one would best go with Maria? Maria viajar a mundo. So Maria travels the world. Maria viaja, right? So that would be the third person singular. Maria viaja al mundo. Otra vez, hay cuatro opciones a la derecha. Los mosquitos, so this is plural. La sangre means blood, beber means to drink. So los mosquitos beben la sangre. El hombre leer las noticias. Me falta un acento, pero no pasa nada. So, el hombre means the man. El hombre lee las noticias. So, leer, remember, there's two syllables, lee, so that can be hard, so it's not le. Um, Lupe y José patinar los jueves. So, Lupe and José skate on Thursdays. So remember, it's an AR verb, so make sure you pay attention to the ending. So Lupe y José patinan los jueves. Muy bien. ¿Y qué estación? If I was going to ask you qué estación, which means what season, es probablemente el invierno. It's probably winter. Excelente. So vamos a continuar. So I shortened these notes for today because it's almost easier if I explain by doing. So I'm sure you guys have heard of me gusta or no me gusta in Espanol. So the verb gustar in Spanish is used to express to like or dislike doing something because gustar literally means to be pleasing to someone. The subject pronouns yo, tu, el, ella, usted, nosotros, vosotros, ellos are not used. Instead, they use the pronouns me, te, les, nos, os, les. And so what I mean by that, if I said me gusta la pizza, it would literally translate to pizza pleases me. And I'm sure that if you said that in English to someone, um, they might look at you twice. And so again, things get lost in translation. So in Spanish, um, I do have the subject pronouns just so that you can see what pronouns would go with them. So it's either me gusta or me gustan, and it depends on if the object that you like is singular or plural. Te gusta, te gustan. Le gusta, le gustan. Nos gusta, nos gustan. Les gusta, le gustan. So Obviously, we've been doing verbs, so if it starts with yo, it ends in o. This does not apply with el verbo gustar. It's irregular. So you would never say nos gustamos. And so vamos a hacer la actividad juntos. So you guys have 1 through 12 on your paper. So a mí, right? So if you guys look at a mí, which form, which pronoun do you think goes with a mí? Me. Right, so that would be the first part of conjugating gustar. Los tacos. Is tacos singular or plural? If it's singular, you're going to use gusta. If it's plural, you're going to use gustan. 
So los tacos is plural, so you would use gustan. So the sentence would go, a mí me gustan los tacos picantes. So los tacos picantes means spicy tacos. Picantes means spicy. Número dos. A nosotros gustar los perros. So a nosotros would match up with what pronoun? Nos. Los perros. Is that singular or plural? It's plural. So if you put the whole sentence together, you would say, Nos gustan los perros. We like dogs. Hay cuantos perros en el foto. Hay cuantos perros. Hay uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Hay siete perros. So numero tres, a ella. So which form, which pronoun would go with a ella? Le. Is correr singular or plural? Es singular. So you would say a ella le gusta correr. She likes to run. And so again, this is why translators don't always work, because it literally translates to running pleases her. So, numero cuatro, a ti, would go with what pronoun? Te, las alpacas, is plural, so you would say a ti te gustan las alpacas. And usually the a ti, I'm only using it so that you can figure out the pronoun, but te gustan las alpacas means um, you like alpacas. Y de donde vienen las alpacas? Where do alpacas come from? Alpacas vienen de Peru y Ecuador, de los montañas Andes, from the Andes Mountains. So at one point, I really wanted to have an alpaca farm, and I still do, but I'll probably have to wait a while. So if you wanted an authentic alpaca from South America, it can cost you anywhere from $10,000 to $15,000. So obviously, I'm going to have to put that one on hold for a little bit. Okay, so numero cinco. A Lupe y Jose. Right, so which pronoun would go with Alupe y Jose? There's dos personas, you have two people. So you'd say les. La pizza, is it singular or is it plural? It's singular. So Alupe y Jose, les gusta la pizza. Numero cinco. Oh, so. Don't mind, I, there's two in a row that are the same, so hopefully you'll be able to get that one. So, a uh, ellas blank tomar al sol. So, a uh, ellas would go with lace, and tomar al sol is singular, so a uh, ellas les gusta tomar al sol. So, just take a second to do the rest of them, and I will give you the answers, and we'll see how you do. Okay, so we're on numero ocho. A mi novio. So don't let this me confuse you, right? So me with an accent mark would apply to this pronoun, but I'm saying my boyfriend. So that would be the pronoun le. So a mi novio no le gustan los gatos. Los gatos is plural, so that's why it's gustan. Numero nueve, a Luis le gusta patinar. A ella le gusta tomar agua. She likes to drink water. A nosotros nos gustan las películas. So the reason I have the word underlined after the blank is so that you can pay attention to whether it's singular or plural because that affects the entire sentence. And la el último, the last one, a ti. Te gustan los perisosos. So in Spanish, perisoso means lazy, but that's also the word they use for sloths, which makes a lot of sense since they move so slow. So espero que ustedes comprendan la lesión y vamos a continuar y terminar la lesión con un poco más de los Gypsy Kings. Y que te pasa bien, que buen día y nos vemos pronto, ¿no? Don't be, 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 don't be